good afternoon everybody i welcome you all for my second session series second session series of webinar today we have to discuss about the artificial intelligence an application view and a modern approach nowadays why we require artificial intelligence we have to learn the current world will never run without four topics one is artificial intelligence the other one is machine learning third one is iot internet of things fourth one is network security without these four concepts without these four topics nowadays the human people are not able to live these things are in the path of our day to day life so that it is required to discuss about something about the artificial intelligence the basics of artificial intelligence what are the current scenarios available in artificial intelligence what is the approach we used in artificial intelligence nowadays the modern approach and what are the applications what are the methods used in ai are discussed in this session as usual the ai have what is ai first we have to discuss about what is ai it's a design and study and construction of computer programs the programs behave intelligently the programs will act as intelligent program so that ai is the science and engineering of making an intelligent system intelligent machine by means of a intelligent program this ai is similar task of using computers and understand human intelligence how we can able to understand the human intelligence by means of a computer is the study of ai mostly it is a branch of computer science by which we can create intelligent machines we can create intelligent machines which can behave like a human think like a humans and able to make decisions and able to make decisions this is the main concept nowadays how to how we can able to make a decision making this system a good decision making system is the number one process nowadays going on as a research topic therefore an ai is a branch of computer science not only the computer science it is also a mathematics and software engineering and everything available in it how we can able to make a computer like a human this is the main concept now why we require the artificial intelligence with the help of the ai, AI we can create such a software or devices we can create a ai, AI software or ai devices which can solve real world problems very easily very easily we can solve real life problems with some 100% accuracy not like that somewhat 90% 90 to 100% accuracy such systems are mostly used nowadays so for the health issues health diagnosing health diagnosis methods health de uh, department and marketing in order to analyze that traffic information traffic issues we use the ai techniques the current world have three kinds of information processing very effectively carried out nowadays one is health and another one is marketing buying and purchasing selling the third one is traffic how to control the traffic <coughs> in all these three topics this ai applications are exactly adopted with the help of ai you can create your own personal virtual assistant pda or also 
possible to create your by using some applications of ai such as cartana google assistant siri etc go like that with the help of this systems artificial intelligence oriented systems we can build such robots which can work in an environment where survival of humans can be at risk wherever is not possible to enter into a particular place by means of a human a robot will survey a robot will enter into the same place and solve the problems which are not solved by the humans so that we require the artificial intelligence machine therefore ai opens a path for other new technologies new devices and new opportunities for the current world scenario now the goals of artificial intelligence what is the what are the goals available to achieve as a human by means of a machine how we can set the goals in ai machines replicate human intelligence the machine can act like a human brain solve knowledge intensive task knowledge oriented knowledge intensive task are solved by means of a machine an intelligent connection of perception and action perception means input getting the input getting the input value get based on the input information how a machine can act this is the an intelligent connection of perception and action for the by means of an action by an intelligent agent how our set of information are processed then building a machine which can perform task that requires human intelligence such as proving a theorem playing a chess playing a games plan some surgical operations some of the surgical operations most of the surgical operations are done by robotics nowadays in many companies driving a car in traffic these are some uh, special special uh, goals we require by using by adopting the ai concept creating some system which can exhibit intelligent behavior we can create some system the system must behave intelligently for learning purpose of new ideas new informations the machine itself whatever the learning information done by the machine it should demonstrate to and explain to others and can and a machine can advise to its users how we can able to understand what are the techniques what are the methods what are the informations are actually acquired by means of a intelligent machine so what are the disciplines available nowadays there are many kind of disciplines mathematics biology <coughs> psychology sociology computer science neuron study that is artificial neural network statistics these are the main disciplines which are applied in nowadays the current technology current scenario of ai okay now this these things are shown in this figures now what are the examples of ai nowadays the ai examples work and schools now the google's ai powered predictions ai powered predictions are carried out in google search engine itself act as a ai oriented information extraction ride sharing apps like uber and ola say apps are used for by using the ai techniques ride sharing apps which act intelligently in order to connect you in order to get the information from the well from worldwide then another one is commercial flights use of use on ai autopilot so nowadays the pilots are mostly utilize the ai techniques in order to drive the that is in order to use that is the pilots are using the ai techniques very effectively auto pilot are used to find this spam filters spam mails the ai techniques most of the ai techniques are used now it is the for this research community the plagiarism checker also work on the basis of the artificial intelligence techniques because 
the plagiarism checker act like a what intelligent uh, mechanism handling technique using some intelligent mechanism handling techniques robo readers are available robo reader readers are very effectively used mobile uh, mobile check deposits uh, uh, robo readers are means if you speak in your mobile it will translate in another language which will produce the natural languages these are called as robo readers also mobile check deposits in mobile phones we can have some uh, app mobile app for tra bank transaction and other details for everything we utilize nowadays for the transaction purpose and also for many purposes using the ai technique then fraud prevention we can avoid the frauds by using the otp security code and passwords and captcha everything available you know that very well exactly credit decisions are carried out by means of the credit card limit limit is over or available to check the credit decisions this entire concept is exactly available now what are the examples of ai by means of a home there are three categories of examples of ai social networking online shopping mobile use you know that very well social networking facebook by pin interest instagram snapshot these are all some methodologies used by adopting ai techniques one more thing is online shopping search recommendations product protections are exactly carried out in online processing okay now what is the mobile use voice to text if you speak in your mobile it should be converted into text these are the one of the very famous technique and nowadays uh, more uh, millions and millions of people are trillions and trillions of people are used the mobile uh, phones mobile information extractions the smart personal assistants are utilized nowadays of in home appliances now what are the powerful examples of ai sri tesla kagito netflix pandora next which is one of the part of google back server playing drones the drone technologies are mostly 99 percentage of ai technique and echo these are the powerful examples nowadays utilized by means of the ai technique okay you know that very well all these things now we discuss about what is the history of ai when why we require the computer so in order to make a com computer like a human for that purpose alone the computers are created what is the history of the computer this is the first charles babbage analytical engine here and the next one is for what, how the charles babbage analytical engine is created the roots the logic 1848 the charge bowl the calculus of logic is actually introduced now you know that very well chocolate and not nuts and mint are logically formed by using the set theory concepts these are the some some of the example for logic representation logic representation by means of this logic representation we can predict the variables how we can store the variables in an ai system how the informations are carried out what are the techniques applied in which these things are available now what is mathematics in early 90 so 20th century 1990 hilbert's program and 1931 cut codels paper and 1936 allen during machine is actually invented allen during machine 1936 this informations are actually we can very well easily acceptable the advent of the computer now 1945 the first electronic digital computer was invented in india and what is the first stored programmed computer the electronic discrete variable automatic computer is invented in 1949 and when the artificial intelligence concept is actually produced by whom 
John McCarthy is the father of the artificial intelligence. With the help of the John McCarthy, John McCarthy and the tennis rich. Tennis rich and John McCarthy are doing in Bell Laboratories together in order to invent a new uh, machines, the human-like machines. But after inventing the C language and Unix operating system, the John McCarthy diverted into his mind to find out a new machine, human-like machine. He is in the uh, area of, uh, he entered into the area of hardware and software engineering side, engineering side, and uh, the Dennis Ries uh, divert his area into software development side. This is the actual history. So the uh, father of the artificial intelligence is John McCarthy. He is the inventor of the Lisp language because the Lisp language is the first object-oriented language developed in 1956 and 70 onwards. Now the timeline 50, 1950, 60, 70 up to 2000 and 2010. What are the things are carried out by means of uh, inventing a fifth generation model, fifth generation systems, you know, you know very well. This is a bridged history of AI. 1943 to 1995, what are the implications, what are the improvements are actually carried out by means of developing the information systems, that by means of artificial intelligence oriented concepts. And what actually the te technology based information about AI? There are two kinds of goal, goals in AI. In order to develop by using these two kinds of goals, an AI system. We can make an AI system by using these two goals. We can develop these systems that are human-like, that are act like a human. So the first one is engineering goal and the second one is science goal. What is engineering goal? We can develop a architecture-oriented software, architecture-oriented in what method, what manner we can be able to produce machines. How we can build a building is decided by the structural engineer. How we can build an artificial intelligent machine by means of a soft system engineer, not the software engineer. By means of the system engineer, some informations are carried out. This is the engineering goal. Develop concepts, theory and practice of building intelligent machines. How we can be able to Building an intelligent machine is the concept of engineering goal. Emphasis on system building, how we can be able to build the system, the structure, what architecture is used. Then in science goal, develop concepts, mechanisms, and vocabulary to understand biological intelligent behavior by means of writing programs. The science goal is mostly depends on the programs, based on the programs, which emphasize on understanding intelligent behavior, <coughs> how we can be able to write a program in order to understand the human information by means of a machine. This is the science goal. So one is engineering goal and another one is science goal. Without these two goals, it's not possible. My concept used for in this discussion is somewhat different. Uh, some basic information al alone are given by me not all the information. Now, what are the major topics in artificial intelligence? Mm -hmm. Machine learning, natural language processing, expert systems, speech recognition, vision, robotics, and the planning. These are the major topics in artificial intelligence. In machine learning, you know very well what is deep learning. In natural language processing, there are many concepts. How to generate the text? How we can question answering is how the question answering is carried out, how the context extraction is exactly carried out, how we can classify the information which is available in, in the system, then how the translation of the translation work is done by means of a machine by using the natural language processing. These things are under the concept of the natural language processing. Already in natural language processing, there are two types. One is natural language understanding and another one is natural language generation. The natural language understanding is a machine can understand human like in human like languages by means of uh, uh, understanding natural language understanding 
a human speaking languages are captured by means of a machine then by using the same language a machine can produce answer for the questions which are produced by uh, by the humans is natural language generation so generating natural language by means of a machine is natural language generation understanding the natural languages by means of a machine is called as natural language understanding therefore natural language processing involves in many areas but without this topic nowadays we are not able to run any kind of systems then what is expert system most of the expert systems are available nowadays in the medical diagnosis field so all the most of the expert systems are mice in people ventilator vm ventilator modulator the, the, there are lot of expert systems are available most of the uh, expert systems nowadays used for the diagnosis uh, heart disease diagnosis and uh, other uh, uh, information extraction anything else everything is mostly done by using the expert systems then what is speech recognition speech to text text to speech this is another one part of the natural language processing so speech recognition is very well adapted nowadays then another one is vision computer vision without computer vision is not possible to uh, do anything by means of a robot robot must have a vision whether the vision is exactly carried out by means of a robot then machine vision then a machine to act perfectly so vision have two kinds one is machine vision and another one is image vision so capturing on image is image recognition and capturing entire environment is called as machine vision so another one is robotics you know what that very well what is the use of the robotics then everything should be planned by means of the logic by means of the knowledge representation by means of the natural language everything should be planned uh, in a system using some planning this is the main concept of artificial intelligence the branches of ai ai <coughs> next we discuss about logical ai what is logical ai search machine learning pattern recognition how we represent our information inference theory common sense knowledge and reasoning planning ontology heuristic genetic programming these are some sub topics of the ai now what is logical ai which involves representing knowledge of an agent's world its goals and the current situation by sentences in logic if the current situation is exactly captured by means of some agent agent's world some mean by means of a machine by using this logical information logical representation logical representation is very very important for the any kind of ai machines the agent decides what to do by inferring that a certain action or course of action is appropriate to achieve the goals in order to reach the goals what actions are carried out by means of the actually captured logical knowledge logical representing information so these things is called as logical everything should be given in logic then only it is possible to enter now what is the search the process of an agent agent means you can assume in the place of agent a robotics and intelligent program and intelligent machine agent intelligent program robotics intelligent machine so an agent can construct sequences of actions that achieve its goal is called a search in order to achieve its goal the a machine can search some information by means of an agent this is called as a search a can be divided into two categories one is knowledge representation and search if the knowledge is actually cap captured and the knowledge captured by the machine is searched in the knowledge space in the knowledge space note that in the knowledge space only the information is actually searched okay the representing a problem in a way that is accessible to this f4 sort of search is called knowledge representation there are two kinds of representation is available one is uninformed search and another one is informed search how we can be able to represent our knowledge using some searching techniques this is uninformed search and another one is informed search what is uninformed search algorithms are uninformed in the sense that they are given no information except its definition only the definition is given there is no other informations are 
available for a particular logic based information but for a particular database for a particular any kind of uh, information so there are various kinds of uninformed search are available the first search uniform cost search depth first search depth limited search these are some information so what is uninformed search without its definition there is no other information are available in the search space by means of an agent yeah, an agent is defined for searching a solution without the solution there is no other information are given this is uninformed search then what is informed search this search strategy is one that uses problem specific knowledge beyond the definition of the problem itself we can have some information about the definition information about the problem what it kinds what are the informations how many data are available <coughs> how the informations are carried out without the information is it possible to create some somewhat the solution or not so what is the structure of the information something available in the informed search category this can find solution more efficiently than an uninformed search because the uninformed search gives some more effect effort but the informed search which we never uh, taken a full effort in order to search a particular topic particular solution so greedy best search a star search hill climbing local beam search simulated annealing search denting algorithm search these are some searching techniques in un informed search category okay now what is the machine learning you know that very well machine learning what is called as machine learning okay so the machine learning is a branch of ai which is another one's scientific discipline which is used to design and develop algorithms that, that allow computers to evolve behaviors based on the empirical data such as from sensor data or databases simply we can define learn by experience is called as a machine learning we will discuss in discuss the elaborately the machine learning in another one section session uh, day after tomorrow i think machine learning session i have what are the machine learning applications what are the machine learning uh, areas what are the machine learning methods what are the machine learning uh, uh, algorithms are available we will discuss in one another one so learn by means of experience uh, is called as machine learning how a machine can learn something extraordinary information whenever a machine attempt a failure then a machine can learn something from its expert this is the machine learning approach whenever a student fail in a particular subject then in the next semester the student will uh, prepare more than a, the previous semester what they what he prepared this is the actual concept uh, so suppose in second time he, he fails once again he searched once again re, he read out more and more this is the method of machine learning so machine can search something about the information okay now another machine the machine learning algorithms are available in which a lot of informations are carried out there are many informations these things are discussed in another session then what is pattern recognition in machine learning pattern recognition is the assignment of some sort of output value a label to a given input value according to some specific algorithms without some specific specific algorithms it's not possible to find out find out anything else so the patterns are classified mostly the patterns are classification methods adopting some classification methods in classification methods we can have some uh, techniques whether the classified informations are accurate having accuracy or not this is the main concept in the pattern recognition the pattern should be recognized by the machine is the main concept of the pattern recognition for example in uh, in your mobile in your mail id firm uh, mails are identified and non firm mails are identified very effectively this is one of the method for uh, by using the pattern recognition so also the pattern recognition means pattern means a method to solve a particular problem a method to solve a particular problem that method is not invented by any other people in the world this is the concept of the pattern so that your method should be recognized throughout the world therefore it is called as a, a pattern recognition so another one is inference the inference is the act or process of deriving logical conclusions from premises known or assumed to be true the inferences are exactly true or not they which act or process 
deriving logical conclusions what we act they get as input what is the for the input that we get from the say from a say sequence then what is the solution for that that is carried out the conclusion drawn is also called on inference inference the solution the result is called as inference the laws of valid inference are studied in the field of logic <coughs> in the field of logic there are many kind of inferences are available okay but all ai researchers develop automated inference systems to emulate human inference human inference like a human how the inference uh, informations are carried out for example consider the form of the following symbolical tract all peoples are blue a banana is an apple therefore a banana is blue this is a simple inference okay so by using this concept most of the machines are carried out now what is the planning planning is a key ability of intelligent systems which increase their auto autonomy and the flexibility through the construction of sequence of actions whether to achieve their goals in order to achieve the goals of a particular machine a sequence of actions are carried out based on its input value this is the planning so planning techniques have been applied in a variety of tasks including robotics process planning web based information gathering autonomous agents and uh, spacecraft mission control everything are available under the planning so what is called as ontology many thing many people are not known very well what is the concept of the ontologies which are the structural frameworks for organizing information and are used in artificial intelligence you can develop your own ontology you can develop your own strategy that strategy is called as an ontology your own way of solving a particular problem is called as an ontology so ontology is sometimes a part of the pattern recognition so also used in the which is used in the sem semantic web in order to uh, use proper uh, semantics in the web based browser systems engineering software engineering biomedical informatics library science these are all come uh, kind of information exactly uh, carried out so enterprise bookmarking and information architecture as a form of knowledge representation about the world or some part of it is called as the ontology ontology means nothing but your own method your own technique your own concept for a particular kind of problem solving particular kind of information extraction is called as ontology even each and everybody must have its their own ontology then what is heuristics it refers to experience based techniques for problem solving learning and discovery so rule of thumb method uh, now we can identify by, by means of uh, some uh, thumb impression uh, what is the humidity today what is the uh, so, uh, heat temperature nowadays available how we can able to easily understand by means of heuristic approach so heuristic approach used two concepts one is find and discover therefore this methods are used to speed up the process of finding a satisfactory solution for an exhaustive search is impractical <coughs> by means of total number of search by means of the entire searching techniques the heuristic methods are speed up the process examples of this method include rule of that is rule of thumb already i stated educated guesses how in future what is happen for a particular environment what is not happen and what are the by using their common sense knowledge the heuristic approach are exactly carried out now what is genetic programming genetic programming is an evolutionary algorithm based methodology by adopting biological evolution to by find computer programs that perform a user dependent task for a particular task the genetic algorithms are uh, utilized uh, there are the genetic algorithms are the part of one of the part of the machine learning and artificial intelligence in genetic algorithm there are two uh, uh, operations are available one is crossover and another one is mutation using this crossover and mutation the genetic algorithms are exactly carried out the what are the genes of uh, the uh, genetic algorithms in genetic algorithm zero and ones are the genes and the combination of zero and ones are called chromosomes which are exactly done by means of this genetic programming the what are the next concept applications of ai game playing and uh, speech recognition 
natural language understanding these things are actually uh, already we discussed about what is what then what is game playing nowadays without the game playing topic with the uh, AI uh, technique by adopting that uh, AI technique no games are exactly carried out in the game we can uh, fit the, uh, the actions we can fit the algorithmic methods we can fit the information everything you're just playing computer program cannot play checkers okay so a game playing system must require it is well designed would be able to help in other areas which providing intelligence for search and rescue missions this is the main concept of the game playing then speech recognition which is also called as automatic speech recognition computer speech recognition which converts spoken words to text which which is a broader solution that refers a technology that can recognize speech without being targeted at a single speaker many people are speaking okay uh, capture okay and the another one is a natural language understanding which is a subtopic of natural language processing and already i explained what is natural language understanding and natural language generation then what is computer vision it is the science and the science and the technology of machines that see a machine can listen view some objects how by means of its camera how the camera is actually activated in a machine this is the study of computer vision computer vision is in some ways the inverse of computer graphics computer graphics is entirely different from computer vision how we can understand a scene how we can understand a scene by means of a computer camera is called as computer vision banks cashiers policemen are using this face recognition programs applications of computer vision are having many techniques x-ray images angiography images ultrasonic images and the tomographic images everything are identified by means of computer vision nowadays in the uh, medical diagnosis systems <coughs> what is expert system it is a computer program which acts as expert in a particular field in a particular field is called as expert system there are many expert systems are nowadays available so on every expert system must have a unique structure which is differ from other expert uh, traditional programs it is divided into two parts one is fixed and another one is variable expert system there are many kinds of mice and pip vm prospectors are uh, the examples of expert system expert systems are uh, the computer program which acts as a particular field now we coming into the another part of the artificial intelligence one that is modern approach nowadays the, this modern approach is exactly fixed in all categories of human lives okay now what is the outline of this session agents and environments we can learn about rationality peace performance measure environment actuator sensors this piece is uh, in many times in a uh, net set select exams uh, having this kind of question what is the expansion for peace in ai environment types agent types we will discuss now what is an agent it is anything that can be viewed as perceiving its environment perceiving means getting input through sensors and acting upon the environment through actuators the uh, legs and uh, uh, hands in a robotic is called as actuators by means of a program perceiving getting inputs in an environment is activated by means of its actuators it is called as an by means of an agent in the place of agent i am already informed you you can assume your robot and an intelligent program an intelligent machine a robot so there are two kind of agents one is human agent another one is robotic agent some intelligent agencies are available eyes ears in humans other organs for sensors <coughs> hands legs these are all robotic agents cameras and infrared range finders for sensors various motors for actuators are also available agents and environments we can simply define a an agent by means of a function here a function f is defined from p to a from p to a where p is a program a is an agent an agent must have its own architecture plus program an agent must have its own architecture and program therefore an agent runs 
on agent program runs on the physical architecture to produce the function f this is the this is here on agent by means of sensor some actions and the perceptions by means of in, getting inputs in an environment some actions based on the environment by using the actuators they did this is the agent then what is called as rational agents perfectly who done the activities they are called as rational perfect act, activation is carried out an agent should drive to do the right thing exactly perfectly that is rational agent an agent must do his work exactly perfectly is then it is called as rational agent so there are some performance measures are available an objective creation for success of an agent's behavior we can have some objectives and vacuum cleaner agent could be amount of that uh, cleaned up amount of i am talking about the uh, automated vacuum cleaner not the manual vacuum cleaner here yeah, this is an automated vacuum cleaner search the its uh, environment space whenever there is a uh, test available then it should clean then search uh, leave the that place to another place this is an irrational agent example <laughs> what is the rational agent for each possible percept percept sequence input sequence a rational agent should select an action that is expected to maximize its performance measures giving the evidence provided by the percept sequence and whatever built in knowledge the agent has using their knowledge only and rational agent act okay this is the concept then what is the rational agent information it is distinct from omni science well known with infinite knowledge human language are differ rational agent knowledge are differ some of the useful informations are we can able to do by means of its perfect actions some an agent is autonomous always and its behavior is determined by its own experience by own experience brings by means of a program only the an agent should be act so what is pis performance measure environment actuators sensors so must performance measure environment is called as pis must first specify the setting for intelligent agent design for example the task of designing an automated taxi driver is pis performance measure what is the example of a performance measure whether the driver safely drive fastly drive legally drive comfortably drive the trip comfortable trip maximize the profit then what is the environment roads other traffic pedestrians customers then what are actuators steering wheel accelerator brake signal then what are sensors cameras sonar speedometer gps odometer engine sensors and the keyboard these are some information about the piece so an agent medical diagnosis system if we consider what is the performance measures health patient healthy patient or not minimize cost low shoot what is environment patient hospital staff actuators screen display <coughs> questions test diagnosis treatments what is sensors keyboard entry of symptoms findings patient answers these are some examples so agent pot picking robot performance measure percentage of percentage of parts in correct pins pins means packets identifying the packets uh, identifying the information environment conveyor belt with the parts pins actuators joint arm and hands camera joint ankle sensors are the means of uh, as english tour for example if you consider an english tour so p means maximize students score e set of students a screen display sensors keyboard what are the environment types are available fully observable deterministic episodic fully observable and partially observable are also available an agent sensor gives its its access to the complete state of the environment at each point is in time really is fully observable what is a deterministic and stochastic what's a the, the next state of the environment is completely determined what is going to search in the next uh, current state uh, by comparing with the current state what action is carried out to next these things are deterministic exactly then episodic the agent's experience is divided into atomic episodes some uh, kind of uh, episodes we can divide the entire problem into some 
uh, parts. One part is the first executed, and then next part and go like that. This is the environment types. Okay. Next, what are the environment types? Static, discrete, single agent. The environment is unchanged while an agent is deliberating its work. It is called as static environment. Static environment. Then discrete, a limited number of distinct, clearly defined percepts and actions are carried out, not continuous number of values. Single agent is an operate is an agent operating by itself in an environment. It is called as a single agent. Then what are the environment types? Okay, just with a clock, just without a clock, taxi driving, fully observable, determinant, restored, static, discrete. Uh, in what category which one is accepted which one is not accepted these are given. then what is agent functions in the programs a an agent is completely specified by the agent function mapping percept sequences matching percept input sequences to actions one agent function is rational so mostly one agent function should be rational aim is to find a way to implement the rational agent function consciously then agent types Simple reflex agents, model based agent, reflex agents, goal based agents, utilized utility based agents. I am going fast. There is no other way uh, because this uh, uh, session having many kind of slides, uh, up to 70 slides. Uh, now we are getting into the simple reflex agents. This is an environment by means of sensors. They are capture some what is what the world is like now. And uh, what action is carried out by means of actuators which is carried out? What is the condition applied? This is symbol agent. <coughs> Model based agent. When after observing the agent's information by means of sensor, some models are created by the users. The some states, the how the world is held evolves. What my actions do? What is the benefit of the actions? So model is created. And then using some condition, the action is carried out and implemented by means of actuators. This is model-based agent. Then goal-based agent, we can set a goal in the place of conditions. In the place of conditions, we can set a goal. How we can achieve the particular goal? Then this goal is activated by means of actuators is called as goal-based goal -based agents. Then utility-based agent, in the third step, how happy I will be in such a state? How uh, I am benefited by using this uh, exact, exactly care, by, by using this uh, action, by using the uh, machine's uh, information processing. So by means of uh, the user-defined information, user satisfaction, some actions are carried out by means of actuators is called as utility based. Okay. Now what is leaning agent? Finally, the environment is censored by me. And some of the informations are criticized by means of performance standard. Some we can get the feedback from other people by means of learning element, learning goals, problem generator. And if we require, we require changes, then performance element is changed. Represent the knowledge. Once again, the learning agent should act, act, capture. Then problem is generated. Then finally, the actuators are executed. This is the new modern approach of learning agent. Now, what is the what is the fundamental issue of a AI problem? How do we represent facts? What should be stored? And how do we structure this knowledge? What is explicit? And what is inferred? How are inference rules encoded? How we can uh, encode the inference rules? How should inconsistent, incomplete, and probabilistic knowledge be dealt with? How we can be able to deal the inconsistent outliers, nice data? This is the fundamental issues raised uh, when we create a intelligent agent, intelligent machine. Okay. So, what are the another example representation? Uh, given 12 sticks in a two by two grid, move three to leave exactly three boxes. Here, there are four boxes. Using the 12 sticks, we can represent this kind of three boxes only. So this is the way of intellectually represent our knowledge into the machine. This is the concept of the intelligent machine.
So how you search problem? Problem space, search space is searched for your solution. Checkers, 10 power 40 states are available in a chess playing game. How do you limit the search space? It is by means of the program. How do we find an optional solution? So by means of the searching information. How are our heuristic and the constraints used? These things are based on the model that you created. This is the concept. Finally, whether a machine can think, definitely a machine cannot think. So who can think? The humans are thinking. Humans are created the machine by using their own knowledge. So what is the conclusion of the AI? The goal of having computers automatically solve problems is a central idea to artificial intelligence. Computers automatically solve problems. <coughs> so this broad area encompassed by the Turing mission, Alan Turing invented a mission, Alan Turing mission, so he invented machine intelligence in 1948. So if you have any questions, you can ask now by pressing your so i will call one by one uh, in order to questions hello agilan devsri k you can talk now agilan devsri k available no and another person dharmarajan you can talk now dharmarajan available sindil kumar you can talk now sindil kumar you can press the button dharmarajan uh, are yes, you sir. Line? Uh, uh, yes sir are you are able uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, informed uh, sir uh, What's informed the difference search. between informed and un uninformed search? Only, only the definition is available in uninformed search. With the okay. uh, definition itself, some information uh, are available in the informed search. This is the difference okay, between sir. the informed and uninformed. Okay, okay Sindhil. Uh, hello, sir. Sir. Uh, tell me, Sindhil. Uh, sir, blogger uh, some checking like artificial intelligence can be used for sir. Yes, sir. Uh, most of the plagiarism check is uh, carried out because uh, natural language processing is carried out. Uh, well, how oh. the, uh, this uh, uh, particular text is uh, where uh, actually available? In what website? Uh, they capture each and everything based on the text analysis. This is okay, the one okay. of the natural language processing in, uh, carried out in the plagiarism check. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Next person, uh, Ilamadi. Elamadi Arun, you can talk now. Elamadi Arun, are you audible? No. Uh, Jodi Anbu, you can talk now. I am activating you. Jodi Anbu. Jodi Anbu. Okay. Next. Uh, K. Sel Selva Sheila, you can talk now. Yes. Uh, Selva Sheila, what is your doubt? Hello, Silva Sila. Hello, tell me what's your doubt? You can speak now. Your audio button is enabled. Your audio button Hello, is enabled. Sir? Ah, yes, tell Hello. me what's your doubt. Hello, sir. Okay. Yes, tell me. So, what are the what applications? Hello? What are the applications of? What are the applications of this? Uh, uh, the the the, the um, uh, natural language processing in plagiarism checker. So the, the already I am uh, given natural language processing. The text categories are named entity, named entity recognition, and some other uh, information extraction is carried out in the place of natural language processing. Uh, in deep, we will discuss in another one day. Uh, the tools for machine learning. The tools for machine learning is discussed by in another one session for how the natural language processing is carried out. Okay, so text is exactly identified where the text is available in the uh, in what website, what is whether we is possible to find a particular text that is named entity recognition. 
a named entity recognition technique is uh, deep learning approach. This is the one of the part of the deep learning approach. The deep learning approach is utilized in natural language by means of the natural language processing in uh, blogging and check. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. We will discuss in the next uh, topic. Uh, another uh, person, uh, Lily Rani. Okay, you can talk now. I am enable your audio button. Lily Rani. Lily Rani Lakshman. Okay, not not available. Uh, next one is yes, Sujada. You can talk now. Are you able to hear me, sir? Yes, yes. Tell me, what's your doubt? Ontology. Actually, you told that they. Yeah, it is having their own strategy. For solving a particular problem, you must have so your own method. Your own method uh, by using some structure, you can develop your own solve your problem. Without using uh, a structure, you can solve your problem by means of your own uh, method. That is, without okay. a program, you can solve. Without uh, with some program, you can solve. Whatever the method methodology used by you yourself solve for solving a particular environment based information. A real time oriented information is called as your own ontology. Okay. So, how to use some algorithm for that, sir? If, if, if require, you can use it. If not require, it is not necessary. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Based on your environment. Okay. The next one is uh, Saravanan Subramanian went out. He has no audio button. And another one is. Uh, almost uh, everything, uh, all the peoples are Sivakumar Nadesan. Want to speak with me, Sivakumar? Uh, yes, sir. Hello. Uh, what, uh, yes, sir. Uh, so yes, sir. How, can we how can we implement uh, in most of the washing machines? And what is the uh, kind of data? What are the kind of uh, data? Automated, wa automated washing machine itself act as uh, AI oriented programs. Uh, if uh, water is uh, available very high, without water is not run. With some water water is based on some uh, sensors. Sensor is fitted in into your automated washing machines. It automatically identifies by means of sensors. Suppose if yeah. there is no water, the machine will never work. Suppose if enough water, then the machine will work. Suppose enough heat are uh, produced, then uh, automatically the, uh, the machine will stop and work like that. This is the one of the, the kind of water automated but, uh, that is art, uh, washing machine. Okay. Okay. One more question. Can we implement okay. any uh, uh, driving status of a car without uh, uh, driver by using this um, uh, AI method? Well, sir, some uh, countries are having like without driver. Uh, some people are uh, uh, drive. Some cars are driven by means of machines. But it is very difficult yeah. because. Uh, in the foreign countries, it is possible because their roads and other signals are exactly they followed. But in India, it is not possible. Okay. So only based we can on find the only based on the environment, based on the road condition, based on the sensors, based on the uh, signals. Okay. okay. This is uh, okay. useful. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, next one is uh, Sayadu Lakshmi. We can talk now. Sayadu Lakshmi, available? It's not available. Sayadu Lakshmi is not available. Okay. And another, yes, Sujada, not available. Ramya P, P Ramya. We can talk now. P Ramya. No, Badmavadi or Ramamurti. Now your audio button is enabled. So I request you all uh, today evening, I will uh, upload this video into my YouTube channel. You please subscribe my YouTube channel and then like uh, see my videos. Uh, most of the 70 people of uh, uh, my YouTube channel users are not subscribed me because it will create some credit to me. Okay, so please subscribe. Everybody, Niveda, ye. Niveda, we can talk now. Niveda, you can talk now. No. 
முத்தமிழ் பாலகிருஷ்ணன் முத்தமிழ் பாலகிருஷ்ணன் ஒரு <laughs> the artificial intelligence computers will not give the correct code so the yes. person will get wrongly uh, so, given the one thing you must understand uh, mr mutamil uh, mutamil yeah if, uh, yeah if you enter proper information into the machine then only it act uh, like a proper it will give you a proper solution otherwise it will never yeah. give a proper solution yeah. so there is a difference be... between the correct and past uh, this is right yeah you, you we have to that is uh, which is based on the program yeah. that you developed okay okay so based on the program that you developed in the machine the machine whatever the adapted uh, program so based on the okay. information uh, by means of program they will act okay okay and uh, next uh, anybody else kodandam janaki janaki you can uh, act now yes sir what are the programming uh, languages that will support the machine learning algorithms list of well program suited. machine learning algorithm java python c sharp and hadoop softwares hadoop architecture quick bit latin and uh, these things we will discuss in another one session machine learning with uh, algorithms and other uh, tools for machine learning and ai we will discuss in one more session uh, about the machine learning algorithms Uh, and uh, ai techniques big data analytics everything python and uh, java and then uh, r language uh, lisp language the ghost language c sharp language how to platform virtual machine concepts you can go to the cloud era concepts so all these things are cloud era based information okay 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 right. sir thank you right next who is ready Silva Sheila, anybody want to speak with me? Ilamadi Arun, yes, spoken. Uh, yeah, yeah. Almost everything are spoken to me. Thank you for active participation in my seminars. Please go through my YouTube channel and subscribe definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you.